welcome back to my channel. I've missed you so very much. I'm so excited to be back and not only to be back, but to be back with the Dollar Tree haul. I have been going to multiple Dollar Trees around me and even not that close to me and trying to see what I could find, what's new, what's happening. I've also been checking the Dollar Tree website, so I've seen some stuff that's on there that I've been looking for in the stores. I haven't necessarily found everything that I want to yet, but I have found some really good stuff. I didn't want to wait any longer to film this. I have so much new content coming your way very soon. I will put a little timestamp of when the haul is going to actually start, but if you've been with me for a while, I just wanted to give you a little update Date. It wasn't planned for me to take all of January off. It just kind of happened like that. I had a little bit of trouble just getting back into figuring out how to balance life <laughs> with my one and a half year old and my 11 year old and my husband and everything going on in our lives and my other job. Like I just haven't quite figured out how to balance everything yet. So the work in progress. However, we have just hired some help with Magnolia two days a week in the mornings for a couple hours. So I am now dedicating that time to be my content making time. I get to film videos for you again and like that's just my allotted time to be able to do this. So I'm feeling good about that and I'm excited to be able to start making more content regularly. I have so many ideas, lots of decorating stuff, redoing rooms, hauls, shopping with me's, all those are coming back so excited so i figured the first video to start this new year out on my channel is well let me just tell you this real quick i did try very hard to get two different valentine's day videos out if you saw my community tab i posted a little happy valentine's day and posted a short that i ended up doing i filmed a whole valentine's day like decorate with me and bake with me and um, another one was like prepping for Valentine's Day and getting my bins out and a haul from like TJ Maxx and Dollar Tree for Valentine's Day. <sighs> and then I never got a chance to edit them. It was just one thing after another and I didn't get a chance to. So that's why I at least made that little short. But I know a lot of you probably didn't see that and obviously it's not as good as like doing a full on video and stuff. So I did try, but I didn't quite succeed but we are here today i'm excited and i'm ready to share the things that i got in this haul so let's just hop into the haul shall we okay this first thing when i saw it i was like give it to me you might not like it they had a few different ones but i was drawn to this one you ready for it i don't think you're ready how cute is this a bucket hat for spring get out of here i am obsessed with it it's like obviously not the greatest quality <laughs> but it's pink with these palm trees on it i love the colors i think there was a cute lemon one as well i've only seen this at one of my dollar trees so i don't know how many dollar trees have gotten it but i am obsessed like i said it's not the best quality i don't know how long you'll want to wear it for i was thinking like maybe if i'm out in the yard gardening because that's a hope for this year for me. I want to start gardening, but we'll see. Uh, or just out in the yard, like playing with the kids or on a walk or something like that. Not the best fabric on the inside, but for $1.25, I think it's worth it. I think it's super cute. So I was really excited to find that. Along with the hats, I also found just this like black baseball hat. Again, not the best quality. I think this hat's pretty dang cute for $1.25. It actually, I mean, you could bend it some more. I think it's cute, right? Who knew that the Dollar Tree was gonna have some, I actually do remember getting a hat from the Dollar Tree quite a while ago, many years ago, um, and it was red. I wonder where that hat is, I don't know, but I really like this hat. You need just a cute little hat in your life and you don't wanna spend much, try the Dollar Trees. Gosh, I found so much stuff. Okay, I love this container so very much. I think it is so cute. I love the black and white. It says flower market. This has a very like a vintage feel to it and I love that. I love the tallness of it. It kind of gets a little bit thinner down at the bottom. They also have this one in a little bit more of a round shorter shape. I also got that one. I don't know where it's at but it is a smaller one and like I said just shorter and a little bit fatter. I just picture some tulips hanging out of this like 
some pink tulips or something. I don't know. I see that and I want to make that happen. So I think this is such a cute find. Obviously you can paint these if you just like the shape of it, but I just think this is so cute. I love the flower market. I still have, I don't know if you can see, you know, you can't really see, but back there I have like the one that was like the galvanized look that says flowers and garden. I still love that one. I've painted some of them, but I've kept some of them. The galvanized look as, look as well. I'm probably going to go ahead and switch that one out and put the white and black one in here in there um but so cute in that same section people i've seen have been going crazy over these it is well the garden tool hanger and then i guess there's another one in like the cleaning area that is um not the heavier duty one i guess this has it where you can adhere it to i don't know how you adhere it um okay so this comes with screws i got this particularly to use outside i know that there's another one that's white and the grippers are a little bit different i don't think it's quite as heavy duty and i think it comes with a like backing that you can use or like just to stick it on the wall i've heard great things about that as well for just like a broom but i wanted to particularly use it outside so that's why i got this one and i'm excited to use it i think it'll be perfect so if you are looking to do some organized of your tools of your cleaning supplies check these out along with organizing your stuff and hanging things I found this little hook I don't know if it's new it's new to me though and I think they had this also in black but this is like the antique gold finish it says I think this is so perfect if you have a bathroom and you need to put some hooks on the wall anywhere that you could use some hooks if you have an entryway you could like line a few of these up you could paint it if you wanted to to make it match more of your aesthetic it says it holds up to 20 pounds it comes with some little screws on it so i think this will be perfect i actually got this to put in a bathroom and i'm excited to use it you know it's spring organization time is coming up here's another way to help organize your life okay this item i've never seen before at dollar tree it says new at the top it is a must-have painter's tool accurate detail cutting in for decorating and painting i live in a house where we have a lot of projects that we want to do to this house and a lot of it requires painting and i'm going to be painting a lot of it sometimes we hire someone to help for the harder things but there's a lot of rooms i want to eventually paint in this house and i'm not going to hire someone to paint every single room when i can do a good enough job you know and i always have a little bit of trouble though like cutting in and I tape off and like all that stuff. So I definitely wanted to give this a try because it looks interesting. So I don't know how well it's gonna work. Here, let's open it. Okay, so it has like this kind of, hmm, I don't know. I don't know, honestly, but I guess you could just go like this. It says, fill your paint tray with paint, lightly slide the paint pad across the paint surface to collect the paint then slide it across the wall to apply an even finish i don't know but i figured i'll give it a try why not if any of you have seen this and tried it let me know if it worked for you okay let's do some like kitchen kind of things i found these paper plates that i am obsessed with they're so like springy i don't know i'm very much drawn to them they also had them in a smaller um size this came 16 in there I don't know if the smaller size also had 16. We've been using the smaller size. I love them. We don't use paper plates all the time, but sometimes it's just nice to just to grab a paper plate. And I just love the way this looks. And also if you have some guests coming over that you just wanna have like some appetizers out or something, having these little plates are helpful. I don't remember seeing this print before, so I was happy to see this one. Another kitchen thing that I got, I'm sure this isn't new, but when I saw it this past time, I realized I think I need this in my life. I make fresh pancakes all the time here, and we always have leftover pancake batter, and I've been wanting to have something that, because a lot of times I make chocolate chip pancakes, so that's what my kids love. So I've seen where you can use like a condiment, thing and like put it in there and just like squeeze it out but the chocolate chips are not going to come out of that little spout this has a bigger spout that i figured you could shake it up get the chocolate chips and all the batter going again and then be able to pour it out onto your griddle or whatever not sure if it'll work but that's what i'm thinking in my head it says mix and serve container you could also use this for like salad dressings and 
I don't know, protein shakes. <laughs> I don't know anything that you want and I'm sure you could find lots of uses. It also has the measuring um, things on the side. It has the ounces and cups. I have a feeling I'm gonna end up getting a lot of use out of this. Another kitchen thing that I saw that was new to me is this little bamboo cutting board. I don't feel like I've ever seen this before. I love doing little charcuterie boards, appetizer boards, dessert boards, breakfast boards, all the boards, I love doing them. And I thought this is great to have if you're just needing like a little additional space, like you have a bigger one, you have a little one of something, or if you don't wanna spend the money on a bigger board, you could always get a couple of these and then like put them together and kind of make yourself uh, have a bigger board. It's a thought, I don't know. But I thought this would be so cute. You could also just use this as like a tray in your kitchen, put your salt and pepper on top of it and just like have there's decor. Lots of different things you could do with this. Obviously you could DIY it, paint it, make it into a tray for somewhere else. I think a lot of people will really enjoy this. So I was very excited to find it. I don't think this is new either, but it's new to me. <laughs> it's the stainless steel scorers. Is that what, how you say it? I don't even know. There's three in a pack. Here's why I got them. I've never used cast iron before and we have a cast iron griddle now that came with our oven, our stove. And I've realized like you gotta clean this thing very differently. And I've been like looking up how to clean it. It says like use something more abrasive. A lot of the things I've seen are like, I don't know, even looks a little bit different than this. And then with salt, I don't know, you probably have already cleaned cast iron. You're like, um, yeah, no, that's not how you do it. I don't know, I figured I would give this a try, see if this helps me clean it a little bit better. I figured for $1.25, try this out. If any of you have any other tips for cleaning cast iron griddles, let me know. We love using it, but I just have found that it's not getting quite clean enough, smoking a little bit, and my husband has been using it too, and I think he's been burning some food on there, so I need I need to have it like refreshed a little bit. Let me know if you have any tips for your girl. I also found this little, this I feel like is new to me. It might not be new. It's the SureSense brand. This one is Gardenia and it's an air freshener room mist. And what I like about it, number one, is that it's a clear bottle. So I was just going to take off this sticker and have it in the bathroom. Number two, the mister is really nice. So it has a little on off thing on the side. So you can have it on or off. But the mister is quite, it's very, it's like very nice. It doesn't come out too much. And I quite like the smell. I'm think I'm sure some people would not like it. It's, it's quite potent. And it does have a little bit of like that fake gardenia smell. But I think it smells nice. I don't know if I'd want my entire house smelling like this, but to keep in a bathroom or to like just mist a little bit and have it just kind of linger in the air, I think it smells nice. They also had two other scents, but they weren't clear, and I just really liked the clear look of this for the bathroom. Okay, a couple more things that were new to me. This basket, or what are they What are they calling it? A gold basket, yes. I am obsessed with this basket. They have one that's a little bit smaller. It's like half the size and a little bit taller. I got that one too. They also have one that's round. I got that one too. I love it. I've been using the round one to hold like the, our little like mandarin oranges, the little cuties in. And I also have one back on this shelf. You can't see it. I think that you can barely, you, no, you can't really see it, but it's back there. I want to get some like little decorative filler like balls to put in there. I love it. I think it's so like chic. I also have one of these on my desk and I have some folders in it and then I have one in the pantry. I have some chips in it. I love this. I think it's so pretty and it's a great size. It fits a folder perfectly. I'm obsessed. Okay, I picked up some of these in-wash fragrance boosters. I never used this stuff and I'll tell you, I honestly, well, it, it says it's the spring smell. The smell smells okay, but I, I honestly, I really got them for decoration in my laundry room. I am trying to make my laundry room more, I don't know, aesthetically pleasing. So I enjoy being in there more because laundry is a whole thing. And I just am not the biggest fan of doing laundry. So I figured if I can do like, 
you know, some of the pretty little setups in the laundry room, it might make it even more inviting to be in there. So along with these little scent boosters, because I don't, like I said, I don't really use them that much and getting like the real ones at the grocery store are so expensive. If I end up using them, then I'll go down that route and get some of those. But I figure in the meantime, if I'm just using it for decoration, these should work just fine. And uh, along with that, I got these. I've seen some people hauling these for a while. I haven't seen them come to any of my stores until now. And they are, what are they called? A candy jar with lid. I love these. I have some glass ones that I love, but I'm so happy to see these at Dollar Tree for, you know, $1.25. They're just plastic, but you can sit them either like this, or I think you could probably sit it, yeah, straight up and down like that too. But I think these will be so perfect to put this in and make it aesthetically pleasing put a little scooper in there you could also use this and put some of like tide pods or laundry pods dishwasher pods bath salts bath bombs so many different things that you could put in here so i think this is a great little buy you could obviously add a label to it you could spray paint it you could change paint the knob a little bit differently you could really dress it up if you wanted to or just keep it as is it looks nice it'll look nice on a counter nice on a shelf so i'm really excited to find these these will be great for spring refreshing your house getting things organized i think this is a great find i think this comes in two sizes i only saw it in this one size it doesn't actually say what size it is on here but there might be another size, but I know I mine at least had this one, so I was excited to have this one. Another new thing that I've never seen before is this jumbo garden bag. So since I have hopes of becoming a gardener <laughs> and having a garden, I thought, well, of course I need this jumbo garden bag. I was clipping one of my plants yesterday and I thought, oh, I wish I had a bag to put all these clippings in and then I could take it over to like a bigger trash or whatever. Well, then I saw this at Dollar Tree and I was like, man, Dollar Tree gets me. They know, they know. So it seems like it's a pretty heavy duty plastic. Let's, let's open it up and see. How jumbo are you? Cause it looks, this picture, it looks like it's quite big. Oh wow, this is really big. Look how big that is. Holy moly, you know, this This feels pretty sturdy too. This could also be something really good to keep in the back of your car and like help you corral groceries and stuff to bring them in the house or like Dollar Tree bag. If you forgot your reusable bag and they put it in a bunch of little plastic bags, you could put it all in here. You could keep toys in here, but I think this will be great for gardening as well. There's a lot of things that you could do with this bag. This is a great, Bye. I'm very excited about that. I bet you these are gonna go fast. Maybe not. All right, somehow these ended up in here because my daughter came with me to one of the Dollar Tree shopping trips and she's obsessed with poppets. If you have a child in your life, you probably, if they're old enough, I don't know what age they get into them, but it seems like all the kids I know love poppets if you don't know what a poppet is they're just like a little fidget toy and you just literally like take the thing and like pop it back and forth quite the craze these days and the fact that dollar tree has them now it's great for kids so if you need something to get for a kid like a little little extra thing or something you probably can't go wrong with a poppet so lennon grabbed these oh another thing that lennon grabbed oh where'd it go oh no it's a straw. Hmm. Well, that's gonna bother me. Carlos, are you right there? Yeah. Does Alan Bear have something in his mouth? I bet you he stole the straw that was in here on the ground. A straw? Uh-huh. I knew he grabbed it. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sure now there's like a hole in it. Alan Bear, you're a bad boy. Our 100-pound Labradoodle is a bad boy. A very large amount of the time. I knew he stole this. So, oh, there's Labradoodle hair on it now. Anyways, Lennon and I found this straw and I think it's so cute. I've been using it so much, 
but I love the fact that it has like this little topper thing. You can take this off and when I've wanted to like feel a little bit like fancier, I'll just take this and stick it on my glass straw. I'm sure I wouldn't be able to do that too, too many times without that breaking because you kind of had to stretch that a little bit because my glass straw is a little bit thicker or wider than this. But I think this is so cute. They also had a unicorn one. They had a cupcake one. So we recently just had, uh, Lennon had a birthday party she had to go to. So we got one of the cupcake ones to put in with the girl's present. I think they're really cute. And I found this like up towards like the front, you know, where they have like the little, the little things. So I've been using this like crazy though. And I liked it having it for Valentine's Day. Like around Valentine's Day, I would put it on my little glass straw and, you know, drink my little drink out of my little heart straw so thought that was really cute okay we're winding down we're winding down i got some new rulers because honestly we've like needed rulers randomly and we haven't had any i liked this one because i like the black and the wood i just thought these were like really chic looking rulers so pick those up and then i got some of these collapsible storage containers these are the shorter more rectangle looking ones i've been wanting to try and organize the inside of my drawers so and i've seen people use that inside of their drawers so i picked a couple of these up to give them a shot before like i bought like a ton so i'm going to try those out all right the last couple things are things for the wall i feel like this is a bigger size than normal or maybe i just don't see a lot of the 11 by 14 but I like this size. I think this is the biggest size that Dollar Tree has. I wanna add some new wall art on Magnolia's walls and I wanna do it inexpensively. So I got this one to try out. I'll probably spray paint the frame. And then I got this wall creations, like the little decal stickers. And I got two of those frames and I wanna start adding some pink into her room. She really likes the color pink. And then it has gold and it has black. It'll all fit with like the vibe of her room anyways. So I thought this would be cute to put on some like get some white paper backing and then add some of this and kind of make my own little wall art with that. And then I also got some of this wrapping paper. It's a really pretty like floral, very springy. And I have a frame that I need to change out and I don't know what I want to put in there yet. So I figure for now, let me just cut a little piece of this, put it in the frame and boom, have myself some new wall art, very cheap until I figure out exactly what I want to do in that frame. So excited about that. I think that'll be pretty and whew, we did it. That is everything that I picked up at Dollar Tree in the past couple Dollar Tree trips. I hope you enjoyed checking out this haul. Make sure to give it a thumbs up if you did enjoy it. And if you're new, I would love to have you subscribe. I have so many new videos coming your way. Dollar Tree hauls, decorating things, tips and tricks for redoing rooms. We're gonna do some organizing, we're gonna do some shopping, we're going to do all the things and everything always on a budget because that's the way I do things. So if you like those kinds of videos, definitely consider subscribing. Also in the comments below, let me know if you've used any of these things, what you've thought of them. Is there something that you're on the hunt for at Dollar Tree that you haven't found yet? Let me know. I want to know all the things. That is it. I thank you so much for watching. I hope you have an amazing rest of your day and I will see you in my next video. Bye.